Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my Day 10 Standouts for Miss Supernational 2024. Welcome. So this is already day 10 of Miss Supernational and this is also my last my last countdown for daily standouts because I always stopped at day 10 of all pageants. So we'll stop here and then after this we will be having so much activities. Tomorrow they're going to have their Supermodel which is a very exciting activity where one of the candidates will make it in the top 24 whoever will win Supermodel and then in a few more days they will already have their Find preliminaries and then followed by the finals. So um, on this day, day 10, the candidates have more rehearsals as usual because the competition is getting close. And at the same time, they also went out to Krinichka for some sightseeing and shopping and tour of the city. So after looking into all of the updates that I've seen for day 10, here are my top 12 favorites. And let's see if we share the same list of standouts for today. Starting with my number 12, Aruba. Rashida Schmidt. The moment I saw the photos of hers in this outfit, I am already sure that she'll be added in the list. The outfit may be simple for others, but I love how it worked perfectly with the polished weather. And I just love the fresh appeal of Aruba's look. I also think that Rashida nailed it in this shot because that face in this photo, wow. Number 11, Spain. Elizabeth Laker. Spain always delivers one of the most one of the most polished look in the competition. She may not make it in some of my list in some days, but I always see her being well polished all the time, well styled, and she's very consistent about about it. I love the vibrancy of the printed florals in her dress, and this perfectly emphasizes that hourglass figures of hers. The look, oh my gosh, I have no words because her look here from the neck up is always on point. Number 10, Panama. Samantha Jones. There were multiple candidates that I have on this list that wore dresses for day 10. And we'll start with Panama. Black and white is always a perfect color combination in an outfit and in a dress. And this one looks stunning. I love all the pleats in the dress. And I love how it's incorporated in all parts of the dress and even into the sleeves and the pattern. Of the white and black just complemented very well with the overall look and this shot I just love the vibe of Panama in this shot that's why I picked this one number nine Cuba Maria Jose Cetina this is such a beautiful shot of Cuba the fact that she's got one of the, of the prettiest faces this year also helped a lot personally I am obsessed with this shot alone I already love her look today, but this shot just serving. I love the floral dress and all the natural glow that I can feel in her look today. I love the side view pose, still emphasize her beautiful stunning face and the lifting of the legs. Amazing. I love that. Number eight, Ecuador. Domenica Alessi. This is also serving the same vibes as Cuba. Ecuador also looked gorgeous here, but I felt like the primary fabric that she's wearing, which is royal blue, is a bit more impactful. And these printed details, the floral details, just look stunning. So also, I love how Ecuador looks. Um, I love how Ecuador looked amazing in this dress. And here, I mean, look at her. Focus on her face. I mean, she is serving it. Absolutely gorgeous in this shot alone. Number seven. Indonesia. Harashta Haifa Zahra. I saw Indonesia with another red outfit today, but I felt like this one looked more appealing, especially that what she's wearing here was highlighted in this shot. I mean, this shot perfectly captured how stunning she looked for day 10. I have also read that the peacock pattern at the back of her cape was hand painted and I think that's incredible. Absolutely amazing skill and talent to make this masterpiece. So commend to someone or to the people who made this masterpiece. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a refreshing look and Indonesia nailed this look once again. 
Number six, Dominican Republic. Jennifer Valdez, Dominican Republic looked very chic, stylish, and I'm dying for the white boots that she wore. And it worked perfectly with a pink dress. Everything just complemented perfectly together. I can literally imagine Barbie in this getup as well. And Dominican Republic is a doll today. Number five, Thailand. Kasama Sutrong. I love this outfit for Thailand today. I love the bright color. And this is what you'll wear if you wanted to show off. And Thailand definitely have all the goods to show off. She's got the perfect face. That amazing body is just wow. And I love that she's showcased that in that outfit. So overall, this is the one that'll make you wow. Look again and say wow. Number four, Curaçao, Chanel de Lau. Now this is the Curaçao that definitely changes the game. This look is top notch. The hairstyle is absolutely stunning. And this dress, oh my gosh. She looked like royalty in here. And also, I love all the poses, the daring poses, the confident poses and shots that she did in this look. She uploaded them in her Instagram account. Love all of those. She just pushed herself more with this look and I am loving it very much. Number three, Brazil. Isadora Murta. Brazil just went all out for this look. This look is on the same level as, you know, someone that I could already imagine in the finale already. Perfectly styled hair, gorgeous face, and the blue gown was screaming perfection. I really love that the gown fits her perfectly and at the same time revealing her incredible figure. So the blue gown as well just pops and she looked ravishing in it. Number two, India. Sonal Kokrija. I was actually considering as well to put this as my number one for today. But it felt like my number one is a bit better by some very, very small margin. But I still love India. I mean, this is just amazing. I mean, this look of India and the dress screams perfection. I love an all-out dress made of lace. And India was serving royalty and queenly vibes here. I love the classic and vintage appeal because it worked perfectly for her look and styling too from the neck up. So I love how she styled her face and the hair to match perfectly with the dress. But my winning look for day 10 goes to Denmark. Victoria Larsen, hands down, this is my winning look for day 10. I am just in love with nude colors and this outfit is just perfect for it i also love how she matches everything with the color from the shoes to the handbag i also love what she did to her hair here and she just kept it simple so that it wouldn't create conflict with the busy details of the top part of the outfit which i think is gorgeous by the way those details are stunning i am in love with this look and victoria's beauty today i picked this look because this photo just perfectly showcased how I mean, this look is giving vibes that says, look at me, I'm confident and I'm beautiful. And that's the vibe that I'm getting. So loving it, nailed it. So number one, Denmark. That's it. These are my standouts for day 10 of Miss Supernational 2024. And I'm looking forward to know your thoughts, whether you agree with my ranking or not with my commentaries. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.